right, fans, I got a special treat for you today. An extremely rare bullpup. One of only two known here in the United States. The Vector CR21. The story behind this goes, Vector proposed an upgrade program for the South African military to convert their Galils into a bullpup format. The gun never made it past prototype stage, and it was offered for external or export sales outside of South Africa, but it never caught on. We don't know exactly how many of the conversion kits that were made in South Africa, but the theory goes less than 100. Essentially, it's a plastic housing that goes over a modified R4 assault rifle. Now, it's fairly heavily modified. The charging handle has to come off, the top cover comes off, but essentially the receiver and the operating group remain the same. Magazine release is in the same spot, but move farther back because now it's in a bullpup. Also, the selector on the side goes semi and full auto. This particular one was built by Jeff Miller at Hillbility Firearms. Shout out to him, and it's semi-auto only. Now, one of the unique things about it, it has a cross bolt safety up here, so you push it with your thumb or your finger, and that allows you to fire the gun. When you see red, that means the gun's ready to fire. And the charging handle's on this side. It's not really a left-hander gun. It's essentially set up for right-handed use only. One of the most unique features, no iron sights at all, and it has a fiber optic chevron style, one power magnified optic along the lines of an Armson OEG. The flash suppressor is very unique, and when I sourced the parts for this gun, the hardest thing to get and the last thing I got for it, believe it or not, was the actual flash suppressor. It was specifically made for the CR21. It's an open prong design, but it also has the grenade launcher mode of the standard Galil or R4 flash suppressor. Overall, really slick gun. I'm gonna light it up for you. I got some good friends in South Africa that sourced me the parts, and I got basically the gun built here in the United States. I have a special shout out to Higher Arms and Bruce Wenzel, who really designed the gun, and Vector got the design from him. Tarek, Nikki, and Vickers down there. Some good guys. I won't call them their, uh, the names they call each other because it's not really good for TV. All right, time to light it up. Hey, you may recognize this rifle from the science fiction movie District 9. This is what the security forces were carrying around, the bullpup rifle that was painted white. And as a matter of fact, Higher Arms, which is where I got this kit, is exactly the people that supplied the guns for the movie. All right, here we go, going hot. Prawn! Hey, thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. And to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one. LAV out.